Hi, I'm Diane Neubauer, or Du Yanzi, and this is a picture that Disney provided for free online from the movie Mulan, as you might recognize them, marching up to go meet the emperor. Um, this is on a green screen. Literally, a piece of green fabric is hanging on my wall, which I will now show you. So it looks like that behind me normally. Um, I found a way to do something else cool though. I use the images and we talk about them and sometimes I hide them and I reveal them in part with using a little bit of a green piece of fabric and show a little bit at a time and can talk with students about, well, what do you think is in the picture? What do you see now? What's over here? All those things and you can hide the image in part and then you just bring that green piece of fabric in close to show the whole image. Well, I had the idea to make magic wands. So they look like this. So I have two chopsticks here um, and I have a little bit of a square piece of the same green bag that I have used to do those little hide and seek things. Um, this one I cut like a star. That one shows the chopstick at the back, but um, we'll see. Oh, and thanks to Mandarin Companion, that's their chopsticks. They, they had at the conference to give away free. So I'm going to switch over to where my whiteboard is. And this is where I would be wanting to use these little wands. So let me put one of my fancy backgrounds. I won't show you what it is yet. Just so you get to, oh, darn it, I did it already. This is a trick. Sometimes when you have a plain background and there's no green anymore, the green screen goes, oh, you want me to put that on the plain background, but then you spoil it, right? The, the students know, oh, you cool, you were gonna do sparkly glitter things, but see, the green isn't the one that's picking up the color right now. So um, what, what you can do to help with that is always have green behind you when you're selecting your background. So I'm gonna turn off the background, <laughs> there we go, turn off the background completely. Now nothing is picking up, nothing is getting an image put on it, no color. And I've selected the background again. And now when I go over to the whiteboard, no problem. So I've got my word up here, mom, busy. Um, and I wanna be able to be ready to point at that. So I've got my little wand and I can do that. And as I wiggle it, it looks sparkly because it's got a glittery background. If I wanna do things in here, I can do that. If I wanna point at stuff, on there. Now, one of the things, I can't point at an actual image on the green screen because this will just look like it blends right in, although this part would be pointing there, I suppose. Um, but uh, let's look at a different glittery background. Oh, that's a nice one. I like the purple. Uh, red is very important in Chinese culture as a very positive color, uh, symbol of lots of things, but celebration is one. So there's red. Um, and then there's one that does kind of, I found a color changing one. And these were all just found on Google image search. So this one goes blue to silver. What I typed in was sparkle or sparkly background. And there's a lot. Um, so they're really quite cool. So here's what that background looked like. There was the red one the purple one. So all of those worked just really nicely. Um, hope you can have fun with it like I plan to when I'm teaching a class in a half hour.